Hello there, a long time new see. Uh, I'm giving another shot at Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. And uh, Ryu is a man following the path to become a true martial artist. Uh, what else? What is the meaning of the evil energy building within him? And it appears that I hit the random select button and uh, he continues his journey to find the answers and new challenges. It appears as if the random character to select uh, picked uh, evil Ryu for me. Unless he was normally selectable, but I don't know why he wouldn't have been normally selectable. So this looks like Evil Ryu. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Well, let's see how this is. Let's see how this plays as whatever. Obviously not the character model I was used to playing as and with in, um, SNK vs. Capcom or Street Fighter or whatever it is. It took me a moment to get used to the control stuff, but hey, I got it now, I think. I hope. Not really. Um, I found it a lot easier to do all of Akuma's moves, pretty much, in comparison to Ryu, or Evil Ryu. I don't know if they play any differently. I don't know why they really wouldn't, but, uh... If they did play any differently, then... I don't know. Well, and it also picked the ism. And oh, I just like totally wasted my special move too. Shit. And it automatically picked the ism as well, so... That, I guess that was an issue. Maybe I would have been... Maybe I would have played better, better using a different ism. What are they called other than isms? The fighting style, the fighting thing, whatever. Shit, I know what it was called. I forget what it was called, though, too. Anyway, I was having difficulty trying to get this one to play, and it kept freezing up on me, but let's see. One fight, one more step on the path to becoming something, I don't know. I didn't quite catch it. I was in... I was paying attention to something else, but hey, let's I'm fighting some girl with boobs. Something with boobs, yeah. Blonde hair boobies. Oh, and she's a wrestler. Oh yeah, this is the one I was reading about where um she was like based after Zengi for something. She wanted to be like Zengi. So, I guess she got her wish to be like Zangief, because she just got her ass whooped. Ha ha ha, yeah, I whooped Zangief's ass too, what now? And let's see, I want to pull up story, anything extra that the, um, this might provide. See, it'll, it'll be the same as when I get around to Ryu. If I get around to Ryu, when I get around, if, when, whatever, oh, is this, no, this isn't a strategy wiki. Let's see, Evil Ryu. Oh, whether we win or lose, all of our battles make us stronger. Well, that's okay. Nice to know, buddy. Nice to know. That's no excuse to lose, though. So don't go around fucking your battles up and losing just to get stronger. No, that's... I guess, really, that's... No, I still suck. I really gotta get the moves down, Pat. Although, I'm playing as Game Boy Advance, so I'm not really... I'm like, whatever. I could definitely use getting the moves down path though. 
I did look him up, I looked into it a bit. Uh, but it really, really did not help too much. Let's see, uh, I already went through all of his stuff in previous Street Fighter videos, so... Let's see. The answer lies in the heart of battle. I'm gonna skip that stuff. Let's see if he has a story that it's going to... Oh my! Pre-Street Fighter. As a young child, Ryu was orphaned and left with no memories about his parents. And whether they were still alive, he was found and adopted by a named Gokin, who raised Ryu in his secluded dojo and trained Ryu in the ways of his martial arts. Shortly afterwards, Gokin would later train his best friend, Spoiled Son Ken Masters. Ken served not only as a sparring partner, but also gave Ryu a friend in the form of a boy his own age. Ryu looked up to Gokin as a father figure, and regards Ken as his best friend and surrogate brother, a relationship which remains to this day. When Ryu was 23 years old, Koken believed that Ryu was ready to travel the world in order to test his test and hone his martial arts skills against the best fighters from around the world. With this, Ryu left Goken's dojo and headed to fight in the World Warrior Tournament. Alright, cool stuff. Stuff, yes. And let's see, I should have enough time to get around to a story in... First Street Fighter Alpha 3. The fat man is down! Let's see, what, what, what are we gonna do? What's this little after fight? True victory is to give all of yourself without regret. And then with the Street Fighter Alpha 3 story, two years later Ryu continues to be troubled by what Akuma had told him, compounded by his encounter with Rose, who has intricate ties to M. Bison. She tells him that he cannot defeat Bison unless he fights him at the cost of his soul. True to form, when Ryu confronts Bison, he is defeated despite putting up a valiant fight. Bison takes the semi-conscious Ryu and begins brainwashing him. Using the revelation that Setsui Nehudu, the dark power Ryu struggles to avoid using, is akin to Bison's own psychopower. This scene is interrupted by the entrance of Sagat, Ken, and Sekure, each of them having followed Ryu for their own reasons. While Ken and Sakura distract Bison, Sagat challenged and brainwashed Ryu. Different versions of the story coexist. In one version, Sagat is offered the battle as enticement to stay with Shadowloo. Sagat quickly notices the effects Bison's brainwashing have had on Ryu, and at Sagat's urging, Ryu comes to his senses and confronts and defeats Bison, destroying them temporarily. Okay. Whatever. Yep. Alright, let's see how this is going. I'm back and I'm fighting Vega. I don't think Vega is putting up quite as much of a fight as he did when I was, uh... Uh, playing as Akuma. Because, I mean, I one-shot him. I was expecting more. What the, is that all you got, you little fucking girly man? Your strength is equal to that of you. You're to win. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.